what we do, eh? This is what it's all for, for the you know, for that that title fight. You know, being in Vegas as well, it all just tops that off. But you know, again, it's just you know, it's just business. It's just a, another fight. But obviously, I'd be lying if I said you know, fighter Max for the title didn't give me that a little bit more motivation. So, training went really well. I really did push. Um, I'm in a you know, in phenomenal shape to be quite honest. So I'm, mate, I'm ready. I really am. I'm ready. But at the same time. I don't let it, these things don't really get to me, you know what I mean? I'm taking day by day, you know what I mean? I've got sessions to do, I've got weight to get off, and I've got, uh, I've got the boys to, to hang out with, you know what I mean? Just preparing me for, for the fight. So I'll focus on that, and then come fight time, he's just another job that needs to be done uh, in front of me. Again, nothing but respect to him, but, uh, mate, I, I'm, I'm ready. Now, try and get up a little bit, yeah? Then I'll just try and work on some control. Final stages of prep. The boys are going at it, giving me a rest, which is good. I'm getting, uh, as Alex says, I'm getting a bit too old, but I don't think I'm getting too old. I'm still there. I think they're just a little bit frightened of the old man. It's more just a stay uh, a bit sharp uh, I always call it the polishing stage you know the the last the last bit of the camp you know we've done all the hard work you know, it's just to polish the diamond so it looks good on fight day you can't stop the guy hey eh? holy shit Thank you. It's, it's crazy to think how far we've come, but um, you know, it was it was probably a blessing in disguise, um, having a loss and, and re reinventing myself um, and learning those hard lessons outside the UFC. So when I did make my debut, you know, we, we hit the ground running and three three and on the UFC eight fight win streak, just signed another four fight deal. So you know, the division is, is wide open right now and. I feel like another win will, will definitely put me um, in the top tier of, of this flyweight division. Yeah, I actually don't mind a bit of media. It does get you through fight week. Get your mind off the weight cut. It stays bit, keeps you busy, you know? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. How's it in New Zealand? It's summertime now, so it's hot. That's crazy. Yeah, it's, I've just come from beach weather. And That's cool. I would love <laughs> to get on that card. In Auckland? Yeah. Yeah, oh yeah. yeah February 23rd. So yeah. I'm trying to do a quick turnaround as well. Yeah. Are they... Uh, are they pretty strict with criminal records in New Zealand? <laughs> uh, you might be able to get away with it. Oh, Christmas? Santa Claus is coming to town. Oh, that's good, mate. Oh. <laughs> Let's turn on as well. Bit of tinto. Hey. <laughs> Thought I'd go to a festival. It's like Harry Potter, too, isn't it? Alright boys, come on in. Exit stage. Come on in. Keep you guys moving here. Coming. <laughs> there you go. You like that? <laughs> <laughs> The great, okay. All right, sweet. All right, so everyone will have these jerseys. Aussie colors, mate. Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> so I'll, I'll work through no that worries, and I'll look at uh, sizing, make sure we have everything. So green shorts as well, eh? Yes, sir. Green shorts here, Valley Kudos. Last, last time I wore green shorts, I got a massive KO. There we go. All good. Oh, sweet. They wanted to commemorate your opportunity here, fighting for the belt, the championship. Yeah, and they created for you this 14 karat gold necklace. Hey! Okay. And it's wow. customized to you. I've got to take a photo of that. Of course. Man, who's this? Who was it from? Bixler. Bixler? Yes, sir. What? Hey! 
You gotta fight for titles more often than me. <laughs> Mate. Awesome. Oh, thank you. Yes, sir. No, thank you. Thank you wow. for everything you've done. Before he goes out. Gotta feel the right hand. Who's coming out? I don't know. They've got my I'd be lying if I said it wasn't my main tool. Because it's the battery charge on it's only for a certain amount, so they have to give it to me at some point. They don't know how they're gonna give it to me or what. If it's not if it's not comfortable. Alright, that's the one. We're good. On paper, you know, it's grappler versus striker, but he, he, I know he can strike as well. He's got some hands, so um, yeah, it's going to be a fun fight for uh, not just me, for, but for the fans. It's been a quiet day, just a bit of media, um, and then just coming just to get some work, got a massage before, so just making sure the body's working like it should be, um, which it is, which is nice. Um, good to have Eugene just fly in, straight on the pads, so it's good to know my muscle memory's still there, I haven't forgotten in a few days. He keeps you honest, he always tries to hit your face, so um, wakes you up pretty quick. Yeah, just a quiet, normal day for us in Vegas. It's, it's cool to be back here after um, being on the Ultimate Fighter, getting a taste on the show, and now being here, it's pretty surreal um, to be here with the UFC now. But it's um, it's been a long time coming. I'm more than ready for these for these big fights. And um, come Saturday, it's just going to be another night for me. Uh, I've been in these big fights before, and I know the feeling. So. Uh, it's prepared me well for what was to come, so yeah, I can't wait to just get in there. With Brandon Moreno, make, make sure you turn up because I'm bringing the fight to you, bro. Let's do it for the Ultimate Fighter, let's do it for the Flyweights, let's do it for the American fans. Can't wait. <laughs>